Good morning, big wave trading family. Wednesday was about as good as you can get for a pullback. Not only did the market pull back, reversing and closing near the highs, actually closing higher than where it opened on the Russell 2000, NASDAQ, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and S&P 500. That's about as good as it gets for a red day. I know volume was slightly higher um, on the NYSE. On the NASDAQ, you can see it was slightly lower, so nothing to really complain about. Um, even better, once again, a ton of new long positions. Six, we were only normal for one day when we got SECO and ESE. Now we're back to a plethora of new long positions. Once again, before I go over all of these, I just want to remember, look at the previous measured move. You just look at the recent lows, October, November, December in 2016 for LOCO, CPRX, same similar situation ENV you can look at the 2017 late March lows CIFS from its newly issued moving on to the NASDAQ lows LIVE uh, you can see how explosive it is lately but I mean you can see that the stock can move whenever it does decide to move from its lows and SSTI, new issue, but even then you can see that from a low here to a recent high here, the stock basically actually from here to here moved 100%, almost 100%. So all of these stocks can move, and that's the whole point of going long. Any of these names, they all offer the same 4 to 1 plus reward risk ratio. Just because I go long the stock does not mean that I am telling you to go long. It just means that that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you exactly my limit price on the new positions page, and I'm telling you exactly the stops I'm going to use. If the first stop goes before the last stop comes into play, I'm moving up half for all of my stops. That's what I'm doing on all of them. So with that in mind, let's get to it. ENV is the highest quality of all the new long signals. Highest quality doesn't mean the safest. Safest doesn't mean it will work. Anything can happen in the market. That's why I have stops on everything. I'm going long ENV using the high of the day. <clears throat> Cancel some quality stock, like I said. First cut loss level right here. Second cut loss level right there. Should be 2% of your account capital. But despite today's red day, I only raise a little bit of cash. So the max that I can put in all these long positions, it's the same across the board. 1%, right around $4,000 to $5,000 in each name. The next new long position that I'm going along, CIFS. I've had my eye on it since this day right here. It's flatlined. I don't love the pattern, but I do really like all the green bop. I like the strong volume lately, the pocket pivot point signals. So I'm going long CIFS with a limit order at the high of the day. My first cut loss level is right here, and my final cut loss level is right there. But you can be damn sure if this low goes, uh, that low will never see my stop. My stops will never trigger. This thing's going to have to crash intraday tomorrow to ever see that low come into play on the second half of the position. As the stock moves lower, even if BOP grows and volume declines each and every day, I'll be partialing out until that final stop comes. So those two stocks, ENV and CIFS, are technically 2% positions. CIFS is semi canceled quality IPO. ENV is... Um, the top stock of the bunch today, uh, Cancel Quality. And then the next stock in the most scans, SSTI. This is an IPO and also made my price volume BOP surge scan. It is extended from its 20-day moving average and its 10-day moving average. So this one's obviously riskier, but I really, really, really like this stock. I love the revenue growth. I don't know when it's going to go EPS positive, but with the revenue growth that it has and the chart that it has, I assume that's a good combination. So once again, want to get long this time just the cl at the close. My first cut loss level is right here. My final cut loss level for now is right there. I was thinking of maybe opening it up to one, two, three, four stops levels. The last one right here. So we'll see what I do. It won't be this level, but one, two, three, four. If I do decide to really, really split it up, SSTI. And then Loxo, this is probably actually um, the Best per there was two perfect speculator scan stocks, CPRX and LOXO. You can see the big, huge previous uptrends. So these, if they decide to move higher, have the potential to be explosive. Not only explosive, 
very explosive. Loxo's, Loxo is a much higher price stock, so it's a better overall setup. Nice bop surge too here, even though it is yellow. Um, really, really volatility contraction pattern here. I want to get long using the high of the day. My first cut loss level is right here. My final cut loss level for now is right there. But once again, this goes before this comes into play. Blah, 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 blah. Half to all of the stops will be raised. CPRX is the next perfect speculator quality stock. Candle over candle pattern, even though with the lower volume, there's a nice increase and in bop off the lows, even though it didn't go positive. But I really like how the tight consolidation pattern has gone. And I love the candle over candle. And even though it's kind of hard to see, volume has increased the past two days after a lot of quiet volume on this pullback. And like I said, every day this stock has been green and that I've seen it in my perfect speculator scan. I've been really interested in it because of the this chart right here that shows the big explosive move from the March lows. And then if you want to even go back further, that move from the August, September, October lows right before that March low. But this, it's a, a shift three chart on telechart. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart for CPRX. Want to get long at the high of the day. First cut loss level right here. I, I can't, I think I just have one here. So this is probably the only one everyone should have is right here right here or right here it's all splitting hairs so i went to this low right here but initially for this new long position i'm going to have one stop here and a final stop here but once again blah 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 this low goes before this low comes into play i will be out half to all of it depending on how the stock pulls back heavier volume losing that bullish bop uh curl turn any of that will be cause to start cutting. And then LIVE, this was in my Canslim quality scan. And I thought maybe it was a AAII shadow stock and that I, I put it in here from there. It's quite possible that I did. I don't know how it ended up here. But whenever I looked it up on MarketSmith, I would, on the IBD ratings, it wasn't that good. But when I looked it up on MarketSmith, the EPS and sales growth the past or a few quarters at, with, along with the upcoming um, estimates, uh, I got to take it. So LIVE, I want to get long using the high of the day right here. And everybody should use this level as your first stop level. It's going to be 1457. And then um, my personal second stop, I recommend a gap fill at 1397 if you must. But with live after this pattern here, I want to see it move higher or else you know, yeah, I'm definitely cutting my losses but 1397 for now is my final cut loss level and i gotta be honest with you that's still pretty tight with the entry price of 1530 so those are new long positions i got two ad signals but i don't want to go over them because one's extremely risky even though it is a quote quote high quality stock because it's semi cansom quality uh semi perfect speculator scan quality and then the other one used to be perfect speculator scan didn't show up in any of my scans including my tertiary scan but whenever i was going over my long positions uh it caught my eye and i stared at it and that's uh sign that I should at least take a trade and if I'm wrong I'm wrong I'll cut my losses now going over the actual sell signals uh, we'll go over the full ones first uh, VXZ is closing below its signal dates low of day right here at 1679 um, clear cut right there that's a full sell signal 3% uh, loss ORBK I know this one's disappointing because uh, a lot of people expected it to work higher and I gotta admit I like the pattern but don't forget on this signal day volume not above average bop is going the wrong way <clears throat> there was no real reason to love it it was just extremely low risk and if the stock would have moved higher even from the July lows I mean a 68 possible percent move to just a 3% risk I'll take it again same pattern shows up I would take it because eventually one's going to work and produce the gains. But ORBK for now has failed. It only hit one of my stops. The stop is still on the books. Since it pulled back on lower volume, I'm going to, and I didn't, I was not even close to getting a full position because I was fully invested, if everybody remembers. So I'm just going to go ahead and split up my, my final stop um, half here half here but ORBK is a full sell signal 3% loss CVGI closing below the signal dates low a day and the 50 day moving average that's a full sell signal I have my final stop right here it's the only one still in on the books but with the lower volume pullback and with it still splitting hairs um, 
since it's especially because it's holding, if you see it's close at 1042, it's holding the 1026 low. So I'm moving half of what I have here to this low. And so half will be here, half will be there for now on CVGI. But on an end of day basis, if that's how you're trading with day market orders, it's a day market sell order. So those are the fails, one, two, three. And then the partial sell signals, we're starting to get late. CDNA, it's closing below the 20 day moving average. It did that the day before. But the day before close below the 20-day moving average still headed above the most recent support level. But this is a confirmation close below the 20-day moving average on above average volume. If this stock would have closed at 677, it would not be a 50% end-of-day sell signal. But it closed at 675 below the low of the day of the previous session, so it's another 50% sell signal. The stops that I have remaining are here, 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 and here. One, two, three four, five stops that I have on CDNA split up evenly amongst all those levels. But on an end-of-day basis, it's the 50% sell signal. And since our entry on this day, we are up 147% on the position, but there's been other ad signals that's mitigated those gains to a degree. HDS is closing below the 20-day moving average. I'm doing the same thing that I did on the others. Uh, it's splitting hairs, but I'm still doing it because I have... Um, enough shares that it makes sense to go ahead and do it. Um, ha I have, after today, it w moved below this low right here. I was knocked out a half intraday. I have one final sell stop here. I'm splitting it in half. One here and one final one here. But on an end of day basis, it's a 50% sell signal closing below the 20 day moving average on above average volume. That's a 50% sell. And then TNET, Rolling over below the 50-day moving average, I was knocked out a half of it here because it was all these support levels right there. So I'm already knocked out a half, but it's a 50% end-of-day sell signal for a 1% gain. I have two stops remaining, one here, one here. I am moving half of what I have left here, and the final 50% of the position, 25% is here, 25% is there. 50% will be sold if it moves below 41.29. And there are two 20% profit taking sig signals with RSI above 80 on MARK. I know it's immediately after we go went long, but it is up 36%. And uh, arithmetic uh, daily chart kind of shows that it's definitely very extended. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely a 20% profit taking signal. My first stop is here, then I have one there. Then I have one here. Then I have one here. I'm insane, folks. And I have one here and I have one more there. It only cost me a dollar a trade. Um, even if with all those stops are split up, then let's say that there's $1,000 in here. Um, there's There would be 200 each level. There's more, way more than $1,000 in Mark. I believe I have about 8000 in this one. But at each level uh, is a stop. It cost me $5. It's worth it on my end. And then CHNR, I've already had my final profit-taking signal, but on an end-of-day basis, this is a 20% profit-taking signal, 45% gain. This intraday session, the day before, uh, hit my final uh, profit-taking level, or was it the day before? It must have been here. I didn't have a chance to move it any higher, so it was a few sessions ago. So this day, intraday, it hit 345 and knocked me completely out for profits at the 345 level. But on the end of day basis, if you haven't taken any profits yet, it's a 20% sell signal. All right, everybody, long video lesson, but I'm not going to make one on Thursday, or th which is today for you guys watching this, and it's actually... 10 30 p.m. on Maui for me. I will be awake at 3 a.m. and I will see you in the chat room. Aloha.